Merry Meat. So this is my Samhain altar as of now. I really don't see it changing in the near future. Um, so yeah. Over here I have my goddess side, I guess. So I've got a... It's supposed to be like a jewelry tree, but I just have it here from Kohl's last year. Um, I've got my athame that I found over the summer, moonstone, I think that's... Oh, I can't remember what the crystals are. <laughs> it's one of those days. I'm trying to write a novel before NaNoWriMo, so the struggle is real. Um, but yeah, just my usual crystals, if you watch any of my other altar videos. Um, then I've got my Morgan statue there that I made. I need to make one for the goddess I'm working with now, but I don't have any more clay, so... I'll figure it out eventually. Um, but then I've got my goddess circle here. I've got the incense that I just got a little bit ago from the lovely Samara Nix, which I actually have going right now and it smells amazing. So then I have the black candle and the citrine that I also got from Samara Nix. Then over here I've just got two pumpkins. On Sour Night I will add some candles to it. I have my besom that I made that I'll be blessing soon. Then I've got this candle that I'll be lighting again for the um, Samhain night to, I don't know, because I always light a candle for the um, souls. Um, so I have that. Then I have a moon. This thing is um, double sided. so. It's the dark half of the year. Then I've got my favorite incense holder ever, again with that bewitching incense. Then I've got that little jar of crystal chips. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use them for yet. Then I've got my white candle and bell. Oh, over there was the goddess bell as well. Um, but then I've got the Horned God statue, again, I need to make one for Dagda, um, but I don't have any more clay, or at least not enough. It takes about a box and a half to make these statues, and I have about a box, roughly. Then I've got a little skull, a rock, um, another ath- or, yeah, an athame. I've got my spirit guide representation. Um, me and my grandpa actually made this uh, candelabra. It's got four holy end pieces, and then it's got five candles. Um, then I've got my candle snuffer. I always keep one of these without a candle throughout the year because, as you can see, this collects wax, and then if you put it on your altar cloth, it has wax. <laughs> but then I've got this candle as well, and then just a spare candle for if I ever need anything. Most of the time I light it for the spirit guide. So that is my Samhain altar, really. Um, I've got a black cloth, and by cloth, I think it's like a pat, or uh, what's it called? It's on an episode of Friends. <laughs> um, like a pashmina or something. Basically a fancy term for a scarf, but it fits this table quite nicely. Um, my witchy room is slowly coming along. I still have to contend with that chair, but I've got the shelves a little bit more organized as you can see, but um, the walls are pretty bare still. I need to get some of those really big tapestries. There's one I want to get that's like the Morgan like crone aspect, but it ships from England so it's a little pricey. Um, but yeah, then I moved my seat back, got the table, um, got the closet to deal with. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> um, and then over here, I've moved some of the stuff there. I've got the incense thing that was sent to me. It's still on the wall. Um, I'll be burning that next month. Then I have to deal with these statues and yeah, we're getting there though. So anyways, oh and then I have a TV in here because if I'm just chilling, I like to have something going. So anyways, Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing my Samhain altar. I know it's not super fancy. Um, I'm thinking that maybe tomorrow I will go 
on a nature walk and collect some leaves and put it on here. But um, yeah, so anyways, that is my Samhain altar. And if you have any video suggestions, please let me know. I don't really know what to make a video on. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and until my next video, blessed be.